Good morning, uh, my name's Keely, and today I'm going to be doing a, a blue eyed look inspired by Daz and Taisha. I'm going to start by applying some primer, which is the La Masca Hydravel Hydrating Gel. Just going to take a little bit, warm it up, apply it to my face, and then just pat it all in. I'm going to start by um, putting a base on my eyelids. I'm going to be using the Revolution Fast Base Concealer in the shade C2. I'm going to start off with going in with the Revolution Matte Neutral Shadow Palette and using this shade just down here in my crease and in the edge of my eye. Okay, so now that's both eyes done, doesn't matter if you go over because we're going to go over a foundation and neaten it up anyway. Um, I'm then going to go into this Revolution Iconic Pro palette, they again have no names on it. But I'm just going to go in with this darker brown just here. I'm just going to be putting this in the corner, outer corner of my eyes and just darkening it up ever so slightly in the corner and in the um, edge of the crease. Just going to dust the brush off like so, make sure there's sort of no excess product and just sort of go over the two, two together to kind of try and blend them in a little bit better. On the other side, sorry, holding the mirror up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a mixture of them both. So sort of pat them on the same brush together. So we're going to there's a little kickback. And then just ever so slightly go back over the edges to make sure they blend nicely together. <laughs> okay, so that's all done and blended. I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut the crease on the in to the first half of my eyelid um, and then we're back to apply the blue eyeshadow. To cut the crease I'm going to be going in with the Obsession Correction Colour in white. Um, it goes a bit, um, it's not so opaque once you put it on the eyelid out of the other eyeshadow. So I'm going to go in using my Revlon brush which doesn't have a name, it's just like a little sort of packing brush like so. I'm just going to, I've put some on my hand, I'm just going to go in get it on my brush and I'm just going to apply it to the inner side. Okay so once I've put that on like so, I've just dabbed it out a little bit with my finger, I'm going to go in with this blue shade here from another Revolution palette. This is the Revolution Makeup London Pro Looks palette. I'm going to be using this blue just here. I'm going to go in using this Ted Baker um, non-named blending brush just like so. So once I've got that on my brush I am just going to start applying it to the parts that I've just put concealer on. So that's the blues done like so. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in with that orange and brown shade earlier and just go back over and try and blend in this um the crease and the outer corner with them okay so what i'm going to do next is go back in with that packing brush that little um, revlon packing brush i used to put in uh, to cut the crease with i'm going to spritz with some um setting spray and then i'm going to just dab it into this blue from this revolution rainbow metallics palette and um, I'm going to pop it on just from the inner corner to the outer corner of the blue. Okay, so now that's all done, this is what it's looking like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do my eyebrows and for that I'm going to be using the Benefit Groove Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 3 and I'm literally just going to brush through my eyebrows like so. And then just lightly. Sorry, I've got the mirror here because I can't really see much from my uh, 
phone camera and just lightly fill them in and I'll be back once they're done. Okay, so once I've drawn on the eyebrows, I'm then going to go in with the Gimme Brow um, in shade 3 and just brush this through the middle to the tails and then I'll go in with what little products left and just brush it through the front of my eyebrows. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, once my eyebrows are done, I'm then going to do in my go and do my base. For this, I'm using the Max Studio Face and Body, and we mixed it with the Max Studio Sculpt. It's in the shade C1, and um, NC15. I'm going to be putting this on using the EPS I Love You um, Concealer and Foundation brush, like so. And then what I will do is I will spritz um, my beauty blender and then blend it all out using using that. It's not a beauty blender, it's a real, real technique. Okay, so once that's all blended in, I am then going to go in with the 17 Stay Time uh, up to 18 hour wear concealer in the colour Extra Fair. And I'm just going to pop this under my eye. Centre of my forehead. It's a very small stick so I have to keep dipping in but it's a really, really nice um, consistency. On my chin. And just on my upper lip, yeah. like so. Then what I like to do is, let's go with the Anastasia Weiss, this is sitting on the skin. Anastasia um, Stick Foundation. I think it's in the colour, it's either in the colour contour or shadow, I'm not quite sure which one, I'm just going to pop it on the hollows and under my chin, like so. Then I like to just quickly go over with the um, Burberry, if I can find it, gel stick in the colour almond and I just like to warm up my temples, bridge on my nose. I like to just slightly go just above the contour, like that. And I like to spritz my sponge again. And then blend it out. I start off under my chin, then I do my forehead, then I'll work in doing my cheekbones, under eyes and nose. Um, so I work sort of from down to up and the middle. Okay, so what I'm then going to do is, I'm going to go by setting, because we're going for quite a full glam today, I'm going to set my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent. This is usually quite heavy on my skin, but because we want that sort of um, quite airbrushed look, um, I'm going to use this to set under my eyes, smile lines, forehead lines, and then I'm going to do my contour. I'm going to set that with the um, PS My Perfect Colour Mineral Loose Powder from Primark in the shade Toffee. Um, and then once that's done, I'm just going to go over and just kind of blend it all in with the um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the colour Light Plus. I'm going to be using, for my under eyes and set my smile lines, the Real Technique um, Small Mini Blender. 
and then to my forehead I'll go in using my uh, Real Technique uh, setting brush in number 402 and then to do the um, set my contour I'm going to be using my unnamed um, sort of buffing brush um, and then I'll be finishing it with a skin finish with my Avon Kabuki brush. I am next going to go in with my highlighter and I'm going to be using the Avon highlighting brush and this is a very old palette but this is the Revolution blush palette and I'm going to be using, very much loved, I'm going to be going in with this pink shade in here and this champagne colour shade just here, I'm going to be mixing them together dusting it off and applying it to everywhere the sun hits so top of my cheekbones so from my eyes to the top of my cheekbones on both sides I'll do the centre of my forehead down my nose the bridge a little bit above my lip and a little bit on my chin What I'm then going to do is I'm just going to back in with my bronzing brush just kind of make sure there's no harsh lines from the highlight and just brush like any excess. Like so. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to do the lower lash line going back in with those two colours from the Iconic um, palettes using this brown mixing it with this I can open it orangey brown just here the first two that we use for our um, crease and corner I'm just going to brush away any fallout then what I'm going to do is next, I'm going to get um, the Nancy pencil brush and I'm going to go into the Imagination palette and I'm going to go in, I'm going to mix two, I'm going to mix Angel and Butterfly to then, got dirty yet, yeah, maybe I do apologise, to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim them down to size, but I'm going to apply some False Lashes by Charlotte um, Bailey's Beauty. Uh, these are in the the name Rose. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply them with some black um, eyelash glue. 
And then once that's done, I'll come back and show you. I use the Ardell Lash Grip Eyelash Adhesive. Okay, so this is with the eyelashes applied. I think they look absolutely amazing. Again, these are Charlotte Bailey Beauty um, and they are in the um, Style Rose. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna mix them in together using some Scara. I'm gonna be using the Lancome Noir Hypnotic. I just like to slight, ever so slightly just brush them to blend them in. Like so. And I'm just going to run the same mascara just underneath my lower lashes, which I'm just going to do off camera because I find it quite hard to try and do it on camera. For blush, I'm going to go in using the Revolution Blush and Highlight Palette. And again, there's no name shades, um, but I'm going to be going in with this colour just down here. I'm going to take my lovely, very old Estee Lauder um, blusher brush. I bet I've had this for at least 15, 16 years and my sister gave it to me. So um, it's, pff, God knows how old it is. But yeah, so I'm just going to dab in like so. If you have any excess, I'm just lightly... to my cheeks and then another side I like to go on my nose I like to blend a little bit into my forehead now I think on camera it looks like I've got quite a lot of blush on but I haven't but just to, I'm just gonna go over with my Mac Miller eyes just very, very lightly dab into it, just to diffuse it a little bit. Like so. And then it's time, before I do my lips, I like to spritz before I do my lips. And I'm going to be using the one and only Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. Now I'm very generous with my setting spray. Like so. I don't have one of those fancy fans yet. I'm gonna have a look into it um, that you hold up and it can help dry your setting spray quicker. But in the meantime, once that's drying, I'm gonna be choosing my lipsticks and then I'll come back and I'll show you the combination. Okay, so my battery just died, apologies, but I've done my lips off camera, but I'll tell you what I use. I went in with my um, favourite go-to lip liner, which is the MUA Makeup Academy Intense Colour Lip Liner in Sincere. Then I went over with a little bit of um, Poundland um, Pout Matters Matte Lip Coat in the colour Latte 2. And topped it off with a gloss, which is from the... Amber Turner by JYY Cosmetics in the colour Angel. Okay, so this is a close-up of the finished look. Thank you for watching. And again, if you can put any of your thoughts and ideas below as to what you want me to do next or what I can improve on, then please comment. Thank you.